You're watching Chloe, man. <laughs> You're watching her. There she is! <laughs> I do? I feel like a greasy pig. Here's my best Hi, friend! Everyone. I haven't seen you since I came out of the womb. Long. I know, it's been <laughs> way too long. She literally just came to my work. I know. I live like two minutes away. I know, yeah. I feel like you're my mom who's picking me up Yeah, okay, come on, let's again. go. All right, let's, let's go. go. Can we get a PB and Yeah, of course. So one thing about me and Noelle's relationship is that when we hang out, we talk about like super, super deep, like philosophical, but also sad things. Yeah. And I went to the bathroom and I came back and we are like, what were we talking about? Oh, being scarred emotionally. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's get back to that. I feel like we build up all of this, like all of these emotions yeah. and everything, and then when we see each other, we yeah. just like vomit it out. Exactly, because you know I mean? we haven't seen each other in like two weeks, I know. We, but we've been feeling all these things. And like, we can't talk to anyone else about yeah. it, because like, we just, it's we're so it, many. Exactly. It's happening again. Oh man. So I woke up this morning and I took a shower and I got out of the shower and I looked in the mirror and I was like, what if I just like cut my hair again? You have no idea how many times this happens. I don't know what comes over me that I'm like, should I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Literally my autobiography. So if you haven't seen my other video, I did a video where I kind of like cut off all of my hair because my hair used to be like down to here and I just like chopped it all off. And now I'm like looking at it and I'm like, it's like this really awkward stage where it's like getting longer, but it's also short. It's kind of like when you're in middle school when you're like, you haven't gone through puberty yet, but you're like kind of transforming into a woman. I literally should be leaving for work in like 10 minutes, but we're, let's do it, let's do it. I'm just really feeling like a cute bob right now, like something short, like for the summertime, you know? All right, let's, let's start with this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm kind of acting like I do. So I think it kind of like goes in an angle. Should I cut it in an angle? Shoot. There is absolutely no technique being used right now. All right, guys, this is a big chunk. We're gonna, we're just gonna do it. Oh, it's happening. Lord have mercy. I regret this decision. I regret it. I regret it. Ow, I cut myself. <laughs> oh no. That was a big cut, guys. I'm like okay with it though. Like I feel, I feel pretty good about it. All right, now I'm just gonna like thin out the ends. Maybe that's the thing that you do. People in beauty school watching this are cringing right now. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. This is just the first tiny section and I already want to throw up everywhere. I'm just gonna do my whole head and come back because I'm just, I'm getting anxiety. So the next time you see me, I will have really short hair. Wish me luck. <sighs> the deed is done. All right, I'm not gonna lie. When I was cutting it, I was really afraid because like it was never like evening up, but I think it looks pretty good. I'll show you the back. Hopefully it's even enough. There's something about short bobs that I just, I'm just a fan of them. I also straightened it today, but I'm really excited to curl it because I feel like it's just gonna be like short curls and I'm excited. But yeah, if you wanna cut your hair, just do it. Sponsored by Nike. People always ask me what kind of music I listen to when I'm driving to work and I'm like, oh, you know, just that new Drake, hip hop, R&B stuff coming out. But in reality, this is me every morning. But I come back to the water. No shame. So Eason and I um, decided that we're going on tour. We're starting right here in this dome, so buy your tickets now. Look at the production value. The production value is amazing. There's one chair. <laughs> it's gonna be like singing mixed with like a lap dance section. With, we like, grab uh, someone from the audience yeah. and just like go <laughs> crazy. Like acrobatics. acrobatics. You're doing that because I think I would break my face. Yesterday I had the most stressful day ever. I took a shower, I laid in bed, and Jenna Marbles uploaded a video of her dogs licking peanut butter. It was just literally a montage of them licking peanut butter in slow motion, <laughs> and it played the the most relaxing song. I replayed it three times last night. I woke up to it this morning, started my day off. Some people have like actual therapy yeah. sessions. Like <laughs> some people like will take a walk in the park. Like no, like I just watched like slow motion videos of dogs eating peanut butter. Yeah, literally like this is gonna be the next ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> hey Easton, um, do you have enough laptops open? No. Do you want another um, just technology? Wait, do you want this too? Yeah, just. You should just add that. All right, perfect. My strange addiction, technology. You look like the Z generation, oh my God. So we just went to a panel at the YouTube space hosted by Lily Singh, who's Superwoman, who's literally just such a boss. First of all, she looked like a goddess. She basically started this campaign called Girl Love that talks about like girls, like hating on girls and why we shouldn't and the fact that we don't really talk about it. And this like event was so inspiring. Okay, ready to go on stage and do our duet? Yeah. We're doing Breaking Free, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. 
part. There was Debbie Ryan, who's literally like an angel. She's the cutest person in the entire world. Lily Singh. Quinta Broughton. Ruby Carr. Ruby Carr. Who's the author of Milk and Honey, which is honestly like one of the coolest books ever. It's just like a combination of like poems about women and like loving yourself, which is so freaking cool. They were all so amazing. And like after this entire panel, like it Easton and I were so inspired. Like I literally, I'm gonna go to the gym after this. I'm gonna pump some iron. I'm gonna blast woman by <laughs> Kesha. And I'm just gonna get it. Like Just get I, it. I'm a woman. I'm, I'm a mother Woman! <laughs> I want to go home and make myself smarter. Me and Easton are gonna go bra shopping now. Oh yeah. Because we're women. I need like a triple XD. Is that sad? <laughs>